Well, uh, you know, we have most of the team back. We only graduated a couple scores from last year. Um, so, that, you know, that, that helps with our, our team depth. But uh, at the same time, you know, everybody else is uh, continuing to try and get better. Westminster gave us a, a really nice run last year. St. Vincent seems to get uh, stronger every year. Uh, WJ typically has some, some strong swimmers, and, and Bethany has uh, you know, started to, to, to get stronger and stronger. You know, it seems like they're you know, breaking a lot of their own school records each year. So it's, it's going to be a challenge. But you know, obviously, uh, with uh, Megan Bilko being uh, ninth in the nation last year in the mile and getting that experience of going out to the national championship, she's going to be uh, you know, a big role player. Same thing with Lauren Cassano. She's you know, had the experience of going out there for a few years. She's been our top backstroker and, and conference champion. Uh, but uh, you know some of the younger swimmers. Amanda Hutzelman had a nice breakout season last year as a freshman, and she looks really good so far this year. I think she's going to uh, push for some of the you know the relay spots on the on the on the relays uh, and the butterfly. Um, we also have Megan Smith, who uh, struggled a little bit last year as a freshman, but uh, you know kind of understands more what the expectations are, and she's been a good breaststroker and distance swimmer for us. Um, Abby Abby Jank. Uh, went to national championships as a freshman last year, and she looks like she's going to have a good year as, as well. Well, we have a, a variety of competition. We're going to be uh, starting out here with Allegheny, who you know typically is a, a strong Division Three team from the NCAC. Uh, we'll eventually see, you know, in addition to the conference uh, meets, which I think are going to be a nice challenge for us, we have Carnegie Mellon, who is a perennial uh, top team in, in Division Three. Uh, the midseason invitational will be going out to, to Kenyon. We'll see, uh, you know, the, the defending men's national champions and uh, you know, top four team in the nation and their women as well as a couple division one programs in the University of Pennsylvania and, and Davidson University uh, so you know, there's going to be a lot of challenges for our women to, to step up and and really you know see what fast swimming is and, and, and build up their expectations of what they want to try to achieve uh, going into the, the conference championships in the second half of the year uh, we'll also see Fredonia in the second half and they always have great divers and that's something that we feel that uh, our diving program has really started to grow and and uh, Carolyn Eckendorf leading that group after going to the, the regional championships last year. We're hoping that Grace Clinic will be able to join her there and, and possibly uh, Jess Fortney. So that'll be a nice challenge for them as well. My expectation, you know, seeing what uh, Josh Grekovich has done with, with St. Vincent and, and bringing up that program and getting relay cuts and individual uh, national championship cuts, you know, I fully expect him to be able to, to field a great program. Westminster is always on top. Uh, you know, it seems like they just continue to bring more great swimmers year after year after year and developing those great swimmers. Uh, W&J always seems to be able to, to, to find some, some names and develop them over the course of the year. And yeah, Bethany, like I mentioned earlier, um, you know, they've been breaking their own school records and, and they're building this team size and, and really changing their pro the face of their program. It's, it's more of a, you know, a program where they're expecting to be able to compete. And, uh, and, and, and Tilly Sheets down at Chatham, you know, with all of her experience there, she's really changed the culture down there at Chatham as well. And I think that they're, it, it's, 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 um, it's becoming a, a source of pride, I think, for the entire conference where you know, just making the top 16 at the conference championships, it's, it's an accomplishment.